welcome back. I suppose this is the first first daily congregation we've had since March, right? Yesterday, of course, we had the Sunday one. So it's nice to see the congregation here and the Mass again. And you know the drill, of course. You're probably familiar with the drill. The changes in the Mass, you know. Sign of peace, non you know, non-physical anymore. Communion, Holy Communion in the hand on left. And masks to be worn. Of course, the priest don't wear a mask, but giving communion out of the priest has to wear a mask. So little things like that, you know, we, we, we all get used to those things as we go along. Things are right, we get used to them. The mass today is by a request from a, for a patient called Rosemary Edinger. Rosemary Edinger, who was very ill. She's a friend of one of our staff members here. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. and the grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, we ask God's forgiveness for our sins and failings, for tears full of gentleness, compassion, and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 Let us pray. O God, who showed the light of your truth to those who go astray, that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, King of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of whole burnt rams and fat of fatness. In the blood of calves, lambs, and goats, I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, who asks these things of you? Come to my courts no more. Bring no more worthless offerings. Your incense is loathsome to me. New moon and Sabbath, calling of assemblies, octaves with wickedness, these I cannot bear. Your new moon and festivals I detest. They weigh me down, I tire of the Lord. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. For your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. In the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my word behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, right, I will show the salvation of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your 
come the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do you think, do not think that I've come to bring peace on the earth? I've come to bring not peace but the sword. I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter in law against her mother in law, and one's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. Whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive the reward of a prophet. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. Whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his twelve disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Sit down for a few moments today. I do a, yes, I want to explain. I'm not wearing investments. I hurt my shoulder uh, five weeks ago. Broke my shoulder bone in a fall here. Flipped on tiles and the bone in our head. Trying to run fast, you know. Walk fast. <laughs> And um, so I had a sling. It's a, it's a green sling, but I can't put on vestments over it. So next Monday, the sling hopefully will be coming off. And, you know, next me, Monday afternoon, I had my, I had my appointment. Um, but uh, it's good to see you all. And uh, thank you, Chaplain Taff, for the help you've given us here, you know, the last several weeks, masses and whatever. Um, we're still waiting for our active duty priest to come in. You know, these days, of course, it's complicated with travel restrictions. You know, what happens if a priest is coming to a place and there's another priest replacing him coming from overseas and the priest from overseas can't come because of traffic restrictions, travel restrictions, well, then he'll be, he won't be let come. You know, all that kind of stuff. The military, of course, is a worldwide organization. I don't know the reason why he's not here yet, but there must be... I'm sure it's tied up with the present day travel. Um, so I wanted to just ask you at the start, how have you all been doing? Um, this has been a difficult time for everybody, hasn't it? How, how have you been getting by these last three months? What's the most, uh, maybe, you say, what's the most frustrating thing that you've had to deal with? The what? The mask. The mask. <laughs> the mask. Mm. Well, everybody's got to deal with the mask, yeah. Anybody else? <coughs> you spend some more time with your families, right? Yeah. Spend some more time with God. And some time, more time with pray. That's good. Yeah. Somebody, pray. somebody at mass yesterday said that too. That's good. And what's the um, the the, 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 the happy things you remember if there are any? There aren't too many happy things with this virus. People are constrained and restricted. And you know, uh, they, I, I think personally, the, um, the, this social distancing thing, I, I found myself the most difficult because, you know, this thing of uh, chicken, you can't shake hands anymore. It's kind, of an, it's kind of artificial. But you know, and the Lord says after all, he, he doesn't want to be socially distant from us. He says after all, come to me, all you who labor, and our burdens, and I will give you rest. And whoever, whoever welcomes you welcomes me. And um, uh, you know, so so like you know, it's it's kind of like uh, it, it'll take a while for us, I suppose, a while for us to get used to this. But you know, we will get used to it. We will get used to it. There's no doubt about it. We all will adapt as Catholics, right? Anything that comes up, any issues that come our way. I mean, the most frustrating thing I found has been trying to do a mass here with no congregation. Mm -hmm. How many times can you look wide and 
Same last before I came on the world, you know. And more than many, many days here, we got nobody. That's all we could come, you know. And might be maybe one or two people come in late and sit at the back. But, uh, you know, that has been frustrating. There has been a frustration. And not just here, but indeed any church, any church we go into, you know. But, um, you know, I think the message of, of the gospel then today, when the Lord says, give a cup of water to somebody, is, it sums up the basis of our faith. The basis of our faith is, of course, that, uh, you know, to do good to the Lord in small ways. One does not have to be do big things today to be a good Christian, but to actually, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to be, do the simple things to people that they can support and help. And even, even though we are physically separated, I think we still can offer encouragement to those around us. We still can offer encouragement if we can mumble some words behind the mask. You know, and that, that, that's kind of good. And you know, um, the Lord says in a way, you know, that, that we, we, sometimes even our faith can take us away from our families. Our faith can make us reject it. And he says, you know, whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. I mean, he, he, he never promises that it will be easy. He says sometimes following him is going to lead to conflict. You know, a man against fight against his father, a daughter, against all of that. And I, I don't know today if you want, if you, any of you experienced that, but all of you who don't go to church, I know they're in my family. And so when I go back to Ireland every year, I have a bunch of reading a news book. You know, and they went to England to university and they lost their faith. It's very sad. And, um, you know, it, 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 like their generation, the 30, 30 to 40 year old generation today in Europe, are wiped out. And here in the US, it's, it, it's a lot more promising. But in, 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 in Europe, the church, you're not going to see too many church and meet the altar people in church. You know, but that generation, for some reason, is just lost. It's lost. So, you know, I think today, just to to continue to be positive and to do the best we can, you know, um, in, as long as this thing is around, looks like we might, we might have to put another year in before we get a vaccine, but we'll do the best we can and to be good to those around us, to offer a word of encouragement to those around us. You know, um, a couple of weeks back I was in uh, visiting patients, I come in here two days a week, and I went to Four West, which of course is the COVID ward. COVID-19 ward, and there was a Catholic woman who was divorced, she was had tested positive, and she, we talked on the phone, I used the nurse's phone to call her, and I was putting on and all this gear, you know, it take about 10 minutes to do it all on, and 10 minutes to take it off, and the nurse has got the but um, she said she was going to be discharged on Friday, and I asked her where she was going. She didn't know where. She says, my mother threw me out of the house. My mother and I don't get along. And uh, she says, I'm divorced, and I, I probably go and live with my friend. So we talked a little bit further on, and I said to her, like, well, you know, is there anything you're not trying and talk to your mother? And she says, she, she will not have me back. She will not, and I already have tried. So I says to her, would you like me to try and call her? And she says, oh, no, she says, and she won't answer phone, phone calls. And she doesn't answer calls of strangers on the phone. So I says to her, is there any other way? Well, can we talk about how, how does she communicate? She communicates by Facebook. She's on Facebook all day. I said, okay, I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna use Facebook together. So we talked a little bit on Facebook that evening and she was surprised to hear me. I told her who I was and that. And her daughter had, her daughter wanted to come home. And she had, you know, she was sorry for any hurts that she caused her. And, she promised she'd try and listen to her and she won't argue with her and all of that. And, and so anyhow, um, I, she went back to her mother and uh, that's about four weeks ago. I didn't hear anything since how it's going, but you know, there's so much can be done today um, to try and encourage people, to try and encourage people, you know. I asked her, is, is the fact that you're, you're, you're tested positive? And I said, it's not got to do with that. It's only got to do with that. She said, we never got along since my 
husband and I separated you know, divorced like two years ago and I'm a very nice woman I just never got along in marriage and she went to live with her mother and mom didn't mom and how I didn't just hit it off so you know you come across a lot of cases like that where families are divided sometimes to try and mediate or try and encourage them to come together is is so positive right thing to do but she didn't she didn't have a very serious case of infection she had mild symptoms she was here like um, 10 days and I told her went went home to her mother in Chevy Chase and I've been here and been since and but she's still there yeah she's still there so thank you all for coming to mass today and keep up the good work and let's pray for the victims of this terrible virus there are I think four four patients in the hospital at the moment with it it's four and we pray for all those who have died. And thousands of people in Florida that are diagnosed on Sunday. 15,000 new cases in Florida. Can you imagine? And also in South Carolina. Uh, you know, and parts of California. It's huge. The problem. Maryland seems to be holding its own. There's a slight increase here. But it's not, it's not been like the state stands on. So the thing to ask Our Lady's help is so important. Ask our ladies help. They say a bit of the rosary every day to our lady, but um, she will guide the scientists to uh, come up with the best solution for them. And that's what we do. So let's ask God to give them for our, you know, for our mass intentions, those who are sick, and um, the person for whom we offer this mass this morning, and also all those who think he's in our own hearts. And keep up the good work, huh? And get the word out that the chapel is open for business. Get the word out. That's important because people, um, you know, we have a lot more people come. We get sometimes 15, 16 people come. And, uh, so there's people out there that maybe don't know about this. A lot of your seniors may not have Facebook. They may not be able to find out. And they may be staying home because they're encouraged to. But if they want to, you know, tell them what's going on. That the, the mass is right now. And some of, many of them will come. A lot of them came, 14 came yesterday. God with the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, be aware of your kindness but mysterious plan for us. We come before you as a family of hope. We dare to allow you to act as you choose best, realizing that to hope in you, despite all twists and turns, is to be assured of your kindly help. <coughs> That all uh -huh. civil and religious leaders may provide help, hope for their co communities by assuring them of their God abiding care and providence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That parents may inspire their children to ground <coughs> hope for their future in God's tender and loving care, despite all problems and anxieties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That all educators may inculcate an abiding sense of hope in their charges by acting in ways that communicate with God's ongoing care and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That husbands and wives may deepen their mutual commitments by providing a hope that God sustains their love even in the midst of problems and crises. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That priests and religious may provide contagious examples of hope for the depressed and discouraged by their care and assistance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray for doctors, surgeons, nurses, staff, and volunteers that God may continue to give them wisdom and skill, sympathy, and patience. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all of our patients and the wounded warriors that they may experience healing and peace in their lives and thank God for their recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died because of this COVID-19 virus and for the many, many people who are sick, that they may be healed, and for the scientists, that they may be able to come up with a, a good vaccine for it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And let's remember now our own needs for a few moments. We ask Mary, our Heavenly Mother, to intercede for us as we say. Hello, Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Good and gracious God, we ask you to accept the prayers we make to you this morning, to receive the thoughts in our minds which remain unsaid, 
and if it be for our good and within your providence to grant our requests as always through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In this we are this water and bread. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to partake in our communion. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. As you are known, praise me for you. My brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of this holy church. May the suffering dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you, you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy Broglie, our Archbishop, and 
all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord now be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other now a song of peace. Peace to you. Peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm unworthy, you should enter on the Lamb. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Few moments of silence for those of you who are not able to receive sacramentally who are watching online today and ask the Lord to come into our hearts and uh, reflect on maybe a special communion for a few moments.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Masses ended now. Go in peace, to love, and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.